left-hand uppercut. That left hook, the left uppercut landed because he had framed it, framed that uh, with both sides of his head, and he had Raheem just brought it straight up the middle. That left hand may be there all night for Zaheer Raheem. from up top at the HBC Arena. And Scott, you see that center of the ring. Well, that's where Zaheer Rahim wants it to be. Absolutely. If this young man is going to try and come on Rahim, he better start coming. That Joe Frazier style is not going to do him any good after the fight. He better bring it in. But as we saw with Emmanuel Claudia a few weeks ago, there is no quit in these young men. They come to fight. Ghanan Warriors from the God Tribe. Yep. Great fighters. Claudia was in that fight all night long against Abdullayev, and it paid off in that 10th round. The scorecards would have reflected that. He kept that fight close every round by being in there. That's what this young man is trying to do. Abla Soa, a cousin of Azuma Nelson, former champion of the world. calculated about how he moves. That right hand did not land. It was blocked. Zola blocked with his glove. Now he's caught in the ropes. Right hand scores there. Drives down Soa. And there's the score. Knocked down the first one of the night. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come to me. You got to let the right hand go, Soa. ESPN goes spanning the globe this July to bring you the world of sports. The greatest drivers in the world race in the fastest cars in the IRL IndyCar Series. ESPN Sunday night heats up with pen and fever as the regular season passes the halfway mark. Relive some of football's classic championship games during the UEFA Champions League Finals Week. You'll have the best seat in the house for the 2003 ESPY Awards. The Asian X Games 5 returns for more exclusive ESPN action. The rough and rugged world of Scottish football is revisited in the Old Firm Derby Week. The man, the myth, and the legend are all on display for Ali, the greatest of all time. Keep up to the minute on all the happenings in the world of sports with ESPN Sports Center. Great action this July on ESPN. ESPN's Friday Night Fights. The USBA Junior Welterweight title is on the line. Mike Stewart goes for his 33rd victory and a shot at a world title when he faces Teron Millett. A weight class full of talent. Friday on ESPN. This week on Press Pass, Boca Juniors and Santos battle for the Copa Libertadores. And David Beckham is presented to the Madrid faithful. Will they like what they see? Join Tommy, Eddie, and me Friday on Press Pass. Fourth round, Zaheer Rahim off to a good start against Abla Soa. The punches through round three, 38 to six, Rahim all over Soa. Rahim not letting up from where he started last round. So annoying this guy can bang, He's trying to make him miss. He's talking some trash in there right now. Here's how it went down in that third round, Scott Ledoux. I'll tell you, Raheem, who landed some shots in that corner, just kept throwing combinations, forcing the guy back in the corner, and he catches him with a right hand, right down alongside the head. Great right hand. And now he's trying to do it again. That knockdown was scored in the closing moments of the third round for Raheem. I don't think that Raheem expected Zoe to come back as strong as he is. You know, Scott, we talked in setting up this fight about the fact that 
So uh, spent most of his career at Bantamweight, 115 and 118 pounds. Raheem is a natural featherweight. They're fighting this fight tonight at featherweight plus one and lingering more towards super featherweight. It's obvious that Raheem is the naturally bigger man, and it shows with the effect of his punches, too. He's a, a, just got caught with a right hand in between there. Great body work, too. Another big right hand. And that hurts Soa. He goes down again. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come here, Brock. He just said no, no, and I think Charles Fitch may have misunderstood him. Although his corner agrees with it. Scott, fourth round, big right hand again. Raheem just relentless when he has this guy in the ropes, catching that right hand, throwing that double hooks to the body, and just firing that right hand down the chute, catching him again, hurting him there. So was saying he wasn't hurt, but he was. 140 <laughs> of the fourth round, the TKO for Zaheer Raheem. Really impressive effort, Scott. Unbelievable right hand he's throwing there with power on each shot. I just wonder if there was some confusion with uh, Rahim and uh, Zoa. And Zoa seemed like he was confused, like he thought he was going to continue to fight. Well, I think what happened, Scott, is we saw Charles Fitch come over to him and address him and ask him if he was hurt, or he thought he was going to ask him to hurt. So when he said no, no, he wasn't saying, I don't want to go on. He was saying, I'm not hurt. Nonetheless, Zaheer Rahim, an impressive TKO win. So Zaheer Rahim, who says, I should be in that featherweight mix, really proved it tonight. He goes to 23-0 with 13 knocks.